Good morning and welcome back to subsistence. Right, um, what is the plan for today? Okay, I should catch you up on what I've been doing. I have been out and done a lot of logging and crafted up a bunch of planks. Uh, got quite a bit of cordage, uh, fibre turned into cordage. Um, got some wood left, but I've, I've kind of used most of it here. Uh, made some ingots, made a circuit board out of the two pearls that we had, um, got a, a harvest of um, cotton in, um, we have also harvested some tomatoes, uh, made some food, so done a bit of cooking, we've got um, roast chicken dinner, uh, steak and eggs and still got a rabbit casserole there, and I've cooked up some smaller um, meat as well and also been gathering some iron and refining it um same with the copper and then i've made a little bit of um zinc as well refined zinc to make myself another flashlight battery so just a general day of out there gathering resources and chopping a lot of wood basically um what i have planned for today is up here I would like to take advantage of this little bump out here that we have and I want to make a balcony and I think it would be nice to build a glass door frame and a glass door heading out there. Um, it means that we will need to move one of these walls out of the way to put our windowed wall in over here somewhere. Um, looking at the placement of everything I think this one is probably the best one to move so let's stop moving that first um, it's not that we really use this area for very much anyway but um, I think it's the the next best place to put that window in all right so let's move this And that'll add some light in, at least, I guess, to this sort of stairwell area. Not that I'll stand there and look out the window, I think, but it should be good. Lovely. Right, OK. So we'll move this one downstairs um, afterwards. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can place it down there from up here, I, I guess. I'm going to need some more materials, but let's um, push it away, which is number eight on the keyboard, and we can just snap it in there for the moment. Okay, awesome. Yeah, good. Right, okay, let's make the, uh, the glass frame and the door. So we should have some materials in here for that. Hopefully we've got enough. I haven't checked. Probably should have done. Uh, two scrap and four adhesive. Two and four. Let's get that built. And what is it for the door? Oh, we need one more glass panel. Uh, and two more scrap and another adhesive. Did I calculate the... Oh, anyway. I think I calculated that wrong. Let's grab that. And we need, what, one more glass panel? I think it was. Let's see. Yeah, just one more glass panel. Don't know how I got that completely wrong. So, let's get this placed. Uh, I think this is going to look really nice, especially being next to the greenhouse area. And we've got the hatch here as well, so... Right, okay, let's go and grab this glass panel. Let's hopefully finish crafting. Let's turn these lights off. Yeah, awesome. All right, another glass door. I do like the glass doors. Uh, that's running. That's good. Um, I want to put this glass away so we don't lose it. And we'll put that away. And I want some railings as well. So we're going to need a full set of railings and two of the half railings. So we're going to need some nails. <laughs> nails is the thing I'm stuck on at the moment. It's amazing. Let's just take all of that upstairs and can get that done. 
Right, okay. Awesome, awesome. Right, okay. So we want a full railing and then two of the, the half railings, I guess. And these can always be moved if we decide we want to reconfigure this area, but it would be nice to, nice to have an area to come out and stand on, maybe have a coffee, <laughs> if it was real. That'd be a lovely little spot, wouldn't it? Nice, there we go. Gonna have to move this over a little bit, but that's okay. We can definitely pop that back down there. Get it as close to the wall as we can. Right, okay, so that should snap there nicely, and then we'll put another one here. We could always put a set of stairs going down that way. I'll put the rail in there for now. Yeah, but like um, a set of these metal... Well, we can upgrade them to metal, but the these stairs... Probably those. And that would allow us a way of getting down and outside quite, quite easily, wouldn't it? Interesting. Okay. Well, this looks very nice now. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep, that looks really good. Okay, um, I wonder if I can grab a... I have to excuse me. I'm going to grab a screenshot, maybe, of me standing next to my balcony. Yeah, actually, that does that does look really cool. Let's take the hood off quickly and grab a uh, screenshot. I think you can tell what that is from that angle. Try and get it kind of lined up. There we go. I can always come back and do that at another time. I wonder if it would let me... Oh, actually, that's even better. Sorry. Right, photo time. <laughs> Got to grab these these uh, screenshots. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Very nice. That looks really cool. Yep. You could just imagine standing out there with a nice hot cup of coffee, maybe a, a Danish. Just watching the world go by, listening to the sound of the river and the cougar. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so, oh, yes, and I haven't told you about this either. Um, I've made another plant bed, so we can fit three plant beds in this tiny, tiny greenhouse. It, it's awesome. It's worked out very well. Much better than I was hoping, so. Uh, yes, our cotton is ready. Let's grab that. Um, not quite. The onions are almost there. I've got a bed of onions and potatoes there. And... Ooh, three lots of onions and the rest of carrots in this one. I think I'm running out of seeds. Yeah, okay. What have we got left in our seed box? We have some potatoes. Let's get that replanted. Or should I wait for the onions? No, I'm going to replant them. Uh, it's fully fed and watered. As is this. And did you hear the shotgun in the background? Our hunters are having trouble. I really love that balcony. Where are they? Sound like they're quite close. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's zoom in with a weapon and let's have a quick look on the map, see if we can see any um, muzzle flashes or anything to get a clue as to where these guys are. Is that over here somewhere? Get these little white um, particles flying around in the uh, in the air and some I'm pretty sure I saw something here. It's hard to say. I, I got a feeling they're down here. I bet I'll be able to tell very easily with editing, but um, yeah, it sounded like they were over there. Okay, um, we need to get... Oh, look, there's a... Oh, there's our hunter base, yeah. I can see that fire at least. Why can't I see this over here then? 
Maybe they're just under the fog of war. If it is over there, there's the other campfire. It's not too bad when you zoom in like this. In this particular lighting. I'm just looking for campfires. Sorry, I'll try and be as quick as I can. Nah. Nope, too difficult. But yeah, they sounded like they were maybe over over in that direction, sort of southeast, so mm, okay. Yeah, so good. We've done the balcony. Um I think it looks smashing. Really love that. I was thinking about um upgrading the floor, but I, I do and and here as well I was thinking of putting some glass. But now it's all in place with the wood of the planters. I think it looks it looks fine. It looks fine like that. And we've got windows downstairs and it is just a crafting room downstairs. Anyway, there we go. Right. Um let's top up the fire. Have I got any wood I left in here? No. Let's go and get some wood. Let's put the shotgun away for a second. Um put that back on my belt. Yes, yeah, so I, I um, gathered a lot of wood, um, got all of that mater those materials ready in order to craft. I did have wood on my inventory. Oh dear. Got all of those materials ready to craft the glass. I, I did have that as a plan today. So I'm glad we got that done. Um, the plant bed, I think, is going to be a really good addition. Having those three there. Um, aside from running out of seeds, that might be an issue. But we'll see how we go. Where is that cougar? Let's have a look. Oh, he's down there. Level 3 as well. Hmm. Okay, I'm just wondering whether to take him out, but we can avoid him, I think. I've got plenty of food. Oh, I've got sinew that I don't know what to do with. I've got so much sinew. Um, what else are we missing? Let's see. I'm pretty happy with most of our resources. 38 cotton's pretty decent. Pearls. We could probably do with some pearls and kelp, I think. Yeah, because we've only got five, um, five kelp left. Okay, let's eat and we'll head out and go and do some gathering. Um, let's have a tomato, let's have a drink of water, and uh, let's grab a couple more tomatoes and I'll drop a couple in the hutch. We've only got one rabbit now, because um, I harvested our chicken, it got to level 10. Mm, I better top that up with uh, fuel. Yeah. I might leave it running. It'll switch off on its own anyway. But I want that power at max if we can get it. Yep, okay, we're good, we're good. Fires are all done. Yeah, I just worry about things running out and losing like all the power for my uh for my fridge or something. Oh my god. He aggroed from that far away. Goodness. Well, if he's going to be like that about it, let's uh, give him something to growl around. Uh, let's sting him with an arrow. He'll probably come up the... Probably come up the stairs, I think, yeah. Oh my god, stop it. You wrecking my... Lemon... Oh my gosh, wrecking my uh, building. Well, it's a level three, it should have plenty of sinew. We need nails, desperately need nails. Oh my god, look at the state of this place. Right, where's my rabbit gone? Have we not got any animals now? No, I harvested, I harvested the, um, the rabbit, I think. Yeah. So we've got no animals left at all. Oh well. Right, okay. Let's drop that away. Let's put this sinew away. We're on our second stack. I made a bunch of rope with the last stack, but anyway. 
Uh, let's grab nails and my hammer and some wood and just fix up the base. God, look at what he's done. Nearly took that whole wall out. Wow, that's most of my nails gone. These walls are not going to stand up to much trouble from the hunters, are they? Oh well. Right, we should probably go and check the trap. Um, I don't know whether it needs repairing. And I don't know whether we've got any blueberries in there. I don't think I'm going to top it up until we get back later today. Um, because it, the animal will be dead by the time we get back tonight. So um, let's go and see if it's repaired though. Because I... Oh, there's a dead rabbit in there anyway. Okay, well, nothing will, nothing will be trapped today because there's no bait in there. But when we get back, we'll um, pop some berries in. Hopefully we can pick up a chicken. But there's no point putting those berries in there and us going out for a whole day's looting because by the time we get home, the animal will be dead. And we will have uh, wasted those resources, so... Okay, right, let's get out of this building. We've got a lockpick. And let's move this quickly before we go. I believe this is already damaged. And then what could we snap that to? That's not going to be too far away. Yeah, and then we'll pick it back up again. Okay, and I'm just going to put it here for now doesn't need to be in the right position. Um, we'll move it later. We need to put one of the foundations over. Right, okay. Um, number three, let's reload that shotgun. How much ammo do we have? Not a lot. Right, let's get down to the lake and go and grab some kelp. Have we got enough pickaxe? No. <laughs> God, I need to get out of this building today. I need a pickaxe though. No point going pearl diving and the pickaxe breaks, so what do we need for a pickaxe? Planks, scrap, and cordage. Yeah, awesome. Um, nice. Right, run. Let's go. Before we need to eat again and do anything else to the base. Oh, I should have had a quick look at what balcony looks like. Can't see it from here. I'll have a look later. Right, cool. Let's uh, go and gather some materials then. So we'll stop at a couple of grub trees and try and get as many uh, as many pearls as we can, a bit of pearl and hopefully some crates for some nails because we are as you can see, back there when I tried to do those repairs, we are almost out. We can't take on any hunters in any uh, battles because we'll just lose our walls. A couple of grenades or grenade arrows and those walls will just crumble. Oh, there's a bear. Okay, it's a, a decent day at least. At least it's not raining. We'll head up to the um, that grub tree later. But I wanted to just have a look across here and see if we could see if there were rogues around. Because it really sounded like they were over in this area. Uh, there's a there's a locked crate. Let's stop and get that. I think this wolf might bother me. Let's see. I think we're far enough away. Uh, okay. That's helpful. A few nails in there. Wish we could scrap we weapon parts into something that we could make um, nails out of or something, you know? Oh, 
or drop them in the uh, in the refinery for something or I don't know. I've got so many weapon parts. I guess I should be thinking about upgrading a little bit more. Just heading over here for these uh, fibers and the uh, medicinal. There's the hunter in the background. There's a wolf there. Yeah, they're fighting. <laughs> That's always fun. Right, okay. Okay, kelp. Definitely got some kelp here. Listen to the gunfight in the uh, in the background. And we'll grab some sandstone as well because we need that for glass. I would love to put some more glass up and around the top floor of the building. What else have we got down here? At some point we need to bring our platform and crate down and place our spare diving gear down in this area. Uh, ready for when we head down into the cave, which I do still want to do fairly soon. Uh, we are in the month of July now, so we still have plenty of time. Oh! That sounded really close, didn't it? Like... Really close. Oh gosh, okay, well... I'm just gonna carry on diving for pearls. We'll, we'll listen to how this battle goes, because if they're really having trouble, maybe we could go and scoop up uh, any expired hunter's belongings at the end. It looks like he's gonna survive though. That sounds like it's right next door. Oh my gosh. Right, okay. I'm gonna go for the kelp and the sandstone, even though he is really, really nearby. I think I'll be okay. Let's grab the, the uh, sandstone first, that takes the longest. And grab you. There's a good number of pearls already. A bit hit and miss sometimes um, coming down here for this, but it's a big area, so um, you know, there's a there's a lot of places to search rather than being sort of restricted by a small pond. More chances that something will spawn in. I wonder what time it is. Yeah, we're losing. It's it's well after midday. We're, we're losing the light a little bit. Still got plenty of time. It was that bit of building at the beginning that did it. Right, head up the um head up there and grab that grub tree and then try and hit up a couple of the ones on the way back too. Let's see. How long this takes though? That is just a bear over there, so there's just that one grub tree up there. What's that over there? I think that's that's an animal. Sometimes when they're end on facing you, um, you know, they look like a like a hunter standing there. Has that just spawned in, that bit of kill? I think it did, didn't it? Not sure that was there earlier. It's a bit deep for a bit of kelp, but needs must. We need to make sure we can feed our animals. This won't keep them going for too long, but we do have a lot of um, a lot of vegetable on the way. That full bed of carrots should really help. And I've got a lot of seed for carrots, so um, <laughs> do a spiral down. It feels like you're going faster by doing that, but I don't think you are. Let's uh, have a look over here. Oh, another pearl. We may as well do this. It is July. It gets hot. Um, constantly, you know, sw switching out your clothes backwards and forwards otherwise. So why not stay in the water and stay cool? Let's see if we can get this one. This is quite deep. I time it properly. Nope, kind of messed that up. I was a little bit too slow, but we'll get the kelp while we're here. Ah, 
that worked out okay actually. Yeah, let's grab this. I think I'm going to hop out the water after this one. I think there were some more bits of sandstone and things over in the um, dealer area, but... It's always a bear. It's always a bear on that part of the, um, of the beach. Oh, look! A lovely strawberry. They feel like such a treat to find. Um, no, they're nothing really special. I wish we could grow them. I think they'd look lovely in the plant beds. Could really have a good varied um, garden. Is that another one up here? Is that a potato? I think that might be a potato. Yeah, potatoes. I'll take that. That's all right. What's up there? Level three wolf. Okay. Can't hear him. But he was definitely looking at me. Just looking around. I want to find some more strawberries. I'm a bit addicted. Yeah, a bunch of those all lined up in the um, in the plant bed would be uh, really pretty. Uh, and blueberries. I wish we could grow blueberries as well. Um, maybe maybe they'd be a higher yield, but take a bit longer to grow rather than finding them in the wild. And um, we've got some iron. Let's get some of this then. Needing as much of this as I can get my hands on. I've left the refinery running, so not the refinery, the mining drill. Um, I need to switch that over while well, I remember to copper because we're doing better on um, better on iron now than we were. But copper is uh, the other ingredients in making those ingots that I need so many of. Oh, there's some more iron. We're not doing too badly for light, actually. I thought it was a bit later than it was. Let's have a little look around, see if we can spot any more strawberries. I wonder if there'll be um, pumpkins or something in the in the fall. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I want that fibre, but do I really want to aggravate a wolf for it? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm going to, because of course I am. You leave me alone. He dropped off very, uh, very quickly there. Right, okay. Uh, oh, there's a bit of copper here now. Are we, uh, are we safely away from the wolf? I don't think I can get that. Maybe if I hop up on the top of the rock. Let's have a look. I think it's kind of hanging over the edge a little bit too much. Where the hell was it? Here. Oh, I don't think I can get that. Oh, I don't want to fall off here and break my leg. Oh, nice. Oh, well, that's good to good to remember. Oh, it's a pretty good view up here, but not when there's a bear running towards you. Yikes, that was quite a big leap off there. Makes me wince thinking of jumping from that high. <laughs> Although you do it all the time as a kid without even thinking but the older you get oh my god things break and twist and ache and hurt even the simplest little things it's uh kind of funny that's a boar oh my god you scared me i want to find some more strawberries are you eating all the strawberries well, the light in, in this area is beautiful at this time of the evening. 
So that's one bonus. I've run in through here at least. You're all right, Rabbit. I've got so much cloth. Don't need you. Well, we didn't run back and get that other big um, six log tree with the grub in it, but there is another one up here we can stop at. What is that over there? Got to be wary of rogues around here. And I see a, a little ammo bag. That's awesome. I need to eat something. Let's have some food and a couple of tomatoes. Luckily I bought a couple of extras with me. Yeah, what did I see over here that drew my eye? There's a plant or something, but... Nope, it's, uh, it's gone. I'm not going to waste too much time looking for that. I'm going to grab these fibres though. I could stop in the lake for a second, but I'd rather get the tree if we can. And we might need to avoid a bear up here, so... Oh, not that particular bear, but a bear. Let's run this far away and hopefully he'll... Ooh. Okay, well that's kind of uh change things around a little bit. Right, we'll go up the other side. We should be able to get around the the lake and just sneak up the other side away from what is obviously a another hunter camp up the hill. I didn't even see those guys on the map earlier. Hopefully there are no um, base hunters coming down here to fish. Don't think I'm going to be able to go and get that big six log tree. Might be, uh, might be more sensible just to head back into the base now. I don't think they were firing at me. Level 2 bear. No, there's a bear camp in that anyway. There you go. Plans change. Have to be willing to switch things up as uh, as things evolve. Oh my god, what have we got here? Oh thank goodness. Right, okay. We forgot to put in the trap. Nothing that I wanted to sacrifice. Um, yep, yeah, we'll bring some berries back out. Because I'd love to get another chicken. I love getting the um, the fat from them for biofuel. It's definitely worth it. Let's get a light on. And we'll drop that away. Uh, I've got a bit more kelp. That's awesome. Right, let's grab a couple of berries. And we've got some grubs as well. And a potato. Okay. Um, right, what else have we got to put away? I can't see for looking today. 24 nails, that's just not nearly enough. We're always running out of nails these days. Let's stop the fires up with a bit of wood that I got. I'm going to need a little bit more for upstairs as well. And we've got some more pearls so they can go in there. Scrap and weapon parts. Ammo and some gunpowder. Not much gunpowder, but... Ooh, I want to put that away in here. Let's refine it. We've got plenty of power. Look at the power we've got there. And we've got 17 iron out of that lock crate. That's pretty decent. Seven um, cotton seeds, which is, you know, it's not what we need right now. But if you imagine starting out and that was your first lock crate that you just got, that you'd be very happy with that. Where have I put my blue light, by the way? Oh, it's in here, because I've got my flashlight. That's okay. Right. Let's go and top up the trap. Or bait the trap. Because this rabbit's coming over here. I think he is kind of keen. hope I haven't scared him away. I might have done. 
Um, I won't move that foundation yet because um, we need a ceiling to go alongside it. Let's grab the iron out of there. I might switch that over to copper now. Now that we're doing better. And let's have a look at the um, the balcony. Ooh. Yeah, that looks really cool. It works. It works next to the greenhouse, especially. Makes sense to extend that glass that way. We could make the whole this side of the building glass eventually. Um, I have a, a, a full glass panel there instead of that window and maybe move the window over to the side. Because um, I'll get back inside because I'm using up my battery here, but... In the building options, there is um, just a solid full glass wall. There isn't um, a wall that's got a, a space for an opening window. Now, I guess you don't need that because it's a window anyway. Uh, like a full glass wall is, is, you know, something you can stand and look out of. But say you wanted to fight from there, you, you can't with a full glass wall. That's the only trouble, so kind of limits your op options upstairs. Um, let's go and top the fire up, fire up upstairs before we lose that. Very cool. There we go. And we'll put a light up. Yeah, I'm really I'm really liking that. All right, let's do the garden. All right, what have we got ready? We should have some onions. Nice. Uh, what else is near near ready? You're about half. What are you? You're almost done. So you're going to be the next crop. Um, so you're going to bring in some carrots and a few onions. I think these onions I'll turn in... No, I'm going to turn into onion seeds. I'm going to do five onion seeds here. Because that's the thing we're struggling the most for right now. Yep. That's going to bring me a couple of onions, some potatoes, and that's going to be onions and carrots. So this bed, when it's, when it's done, I think I will replace that with to tomatoes. So I don't need any more onion seeds at the moment. Okay. I think that makes sense. Look at how the um, ash is just gone now that we're, uh, we're using it for three plant beds. I mean, I need another fire. It's amazing how quick it goes. Yeah, I, I guess once this hatch is closed... You know, this is a this is a practical fighting area. Oh, there's a bit of iron down there. Um, yeah, I don't think that one needs to be a window because um, it will be in the way of the of the lathe. Um, so I guess we could always put the that window there. And then put that as a as a full glass wall. Um, maybe even move this uh, distillery. And then this sort of area then is more of a kind of a living space. Put a chair in the corner there. We've got the bed, the camp, you know, the stove. And then this is sort of a a little workshoppy area bolted on the side. Maybe that could work. Right, anyway, we better get downstairs. And we'll put this iron on. No, let's do copper. Oh, eight and eight. That works for me. That makes my uh, my brain happy. Good. Ten onions, ten carrots, and then we've got a bunch of uh, extra potatoes. Let's split this in half. And... Let's turn this into alcohol, I think. Um, is that iron still there? Yeah, let's grab that. I'll just crouch and kind of creep down here. That's perfect, because we've just got a, um, a copper... 
out of the uh, mining drill. And that extra bit of iron there. Well, doesn't really match up, does it? But anyway. I just want to keep those even for some reason. Right, okay. Let's uh, boil up our water. And I don't think I've got any more fresh anywhere. No. Need fresh water, I think, for the distiller. Yeah, fresh clean water. Okay. Let's get this cooking. Turn this light off. Step out onto our balcony. Wonder if we can see those rogues nearby. It definitely sounded. I was coming up here and they definitely sounded like they were near near these rocks somewhere, but I'm not seeing anything. I should have checked overnight. See those little particles of dust or seeds or something that sort of flow through the air? Nope, not seeing anything. Could have been a, a group of them that were walking out to go fishing, of course. Okay, is this done? This is done. Let's get one made. Two. We can make three. Awesome. I need to bring up some more water. Let's turn you off. We'll grab this and that. We need to eat. What should we have? If we leave it a bit longer, we can have another roast chicken. Let's do that. Let's make sure the um, hutch is fully topped up. It is. About as good as it's going to get. Um, I didn't hear anything go into the trap. Rather than me walking all the way around there, let's have a look from here. No, nope, that's still open. We need a chicken up here. Nice. That looks really... That looks really awesome, especially with the the plants um, alongside like that. I'm going to turn the HUD off again. Photo time. That looks really beautiful. Cool. Sometimes I, I wish this clipping didn't happen where the wooden floor clipped through the, the metal. I wish the metal was this sort of override, overriding texture. On a, on a piece. Just gives you a cleaner line, but anyway. Right, let's get that on and we can go and do some more alcohol. Uh, so we can do... Oh, did we run out of potatoes? I, for some reason I thought we had some potatoes left. That's fine. Yep, no, we've still got the ten in there, that's okay. Good. God, if I keep topping this fire up, we'll have no wood left again. Just go so quickly. Uh, I'm going to make another... Do I need an ingot? What have I got left to build? What am I looking to get crafted? We are going to need to get the radiator eventually. Air conditioner. We've only got the equipment. We need the boiling pan. We see about getting the boiling pan made and we could start making soups then. Yeah, we're going to need six ingots for that. Let's make some ingots. Uh, so one, two... Well, let's make three. Yep, okay, that's all right. And we'll have some more copper coming in shortly. That bothers me, that's the wrong way around. Yeah, we'll get we'll get working on the copper and we'll get that boiling pan made and we can make tomato soup, I think. Right, let's put the uh, water away. Keep the fire topped up. Right. There's my five that I like to keep in here. 
Those carrots look like they're done. They are. Awesome. Now I said I was going to plant um, tomatoes, I think, in here. It's always one that isn't quite finished. Right, let's get those planted up. Yep. Yeah. Carrots are definitely a better harvest. And I think I might start using those to feed my um feed my chicken when I get one. Are you done yet? Oh look! Yeah, I made more than I thought. Well, that's okay. I've got two more coming in. I know I've got one downstairs in one of the chests. So let's make sure we've yeah we've actually we look we've got two there it's okay cool okay we've got we've definitely got potatoes coming in as well are we ready for our chicken dinner yet no i don't think so let's grab these and drop those in there so we need one more to make a um a boiling pan which I think we can afford to do here. Yep. And we'll drop that in there, that in there. And we're running pretty low. We could make another lockpick. In fact, I think I'm going to do that today. Which is sort of running our power and mass and everything right down. But I think it's uh, too useful too useful to uh, to go without okay so you're waiting for our chicken the next one we get the refinery is kicking out copper we're gonna have to switch that back over to iron maybe there we go and we have all of the ingots that we are going to need for the boiling pan. What else do we need? Uh, 30 zinc. Okay, we'll get that work. We'll start working on that next. And then we'll have to work on some form of generating the mass. Uh, so we'll need 20 zinc in here. Cool. we should also think about making molotovs with this Ooh, that sounds like that was a rabbit unfortunately because I didn't hear the cluck yeah it's a rabbit okay we'll, we'll, we'll take that one back and put him in the hutch we need the uh, fertiliser I guess right drop you in there Right, what else do we need? Lockpick. Yep, we can make that now. That's not going to leave us too low. And zinc-wise, let's split that in half. Get that working. And then I think I need to go out and chop some wood. But first, let's have one of our lovely roast chicken dinners. Awesome. That is such a nice, a nice thing. It really is. Just fills you completely up. Alright, they're all taken care of. Let's go and chop some wood for the la for the last bit of this um, recording. Oh, we're at 50 minutes actually. Oh my gosh, okay. That goes so quickly. Oh, what are you? cougar down there and there's a berry I'm gonna go for the berry in fact I'll tell you what we'll do is we will pick up these fibers and this one and whatever that is which I think it is a um, carrot this crate and then we'll get the grub tree and then I'm just going to do a really quick run around and grab some wood. So let's start with these, I guess. 
haven't heard anything from those other hunters. I do wonder if there are some uh, hunter bags lying around on the ground that I could have gone and picked up. but Because the shooting's kind of finished abruptly. Um, normally when they win a battle with an animal, it kind of continues on for a little bit afterwards. Um, they fire at, you know, nothing in particular. Whereas if the animal kills them fairly early on, um, it goes very quiet very quickly, so... Just looking over on the left there to see if I can see any movement. Okay, that's a bit of wood. Um, I'll get the rest of these trees along the way. That bear is still camping, that big tree. Let's grab one or two more and then we'll head in. And call it a day. Yeah, I can't afford to use fuel bricks anymore in the fires. Um, it's just too, too much building. This compound, it's costing a fortune in, in uh, fibre. And because we need fibre now, like to repair the animal um, trap and to create rope and, you know, we soon run out of it. It's a lovely day and we're not getting too hot, which is great. I believe we're in July already. I think this was the first day of July. And this one and then... We'll head back up. Let's get this. I don't want to disturb any animals that might be wandering towards the trap, but... I just want to see if you can jump onto... No. That's pretty good. Right, okay. Well, I think this is where I'm going to leave the episode. So, really great progress. We've um, we've got some crafting done. We've built ourselves a lovely balcony. Um, got things prepared for getting that baking pan, the boiling pan made, which we'll try and uh, get sorted next episode. Um, got another rabbit. Yeah, pretty good. Um, got some kelp. Quite happy with that. So, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.